Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and I really appreciate your time. So I'm gonna be jumping on here quickly to talk about this whole thing uh, with Simon releasing the, the footages as Cardi B would say. The footages. Um, catching uh, Fallon and her uh, alleged boyfriend Jalen sneaking in and off of uh, their property, the home that they shared together when they were married. Well, they're still married, but when they were, you know, in the same home together. So I'm gonna be giving my brief thoughts on that whole situation as well as sharing some of the experiences that I have had um, being a sugar baby and um, dating men of wealth and you know what tips I have for you um, <laughs> when it comes to this type of dating and just you know uh, a, a bit of a perspective that I don't really see a lot being shared on YouTube you know within that community of sugar babies and sugaring so first of all I am going to show you the footage Okay, so you can see in the video that you see um, this guy holding bags and he's walking across the grass and um, you know, you see heels like, you know, a woman wearing a pair of heels like off to the side and it does very much give me, you know, I'm aware that we have cameras, but you know, we don't want to walk directly in front of the camera. So let's kind of, you know, it does. It does very much give me like, you know, this is a sneaky link. No one's supposed to know what we're doing, but we have cameras. So go this way, I'll go that way. Yes, it does give me that. And to be quite honest, I never thought that everyone involved in the situation was innocent, right? I was of the sensibility that everyone involved in this entire situation is raggedy. They all raggedy. Everyone involved is raggedy. Portia is raggedy. Simon is raggedy. Fallon is raggedy. And whoever else is involved, whose names we don't know yet, is raggedy. Those are my really my opinions. And here's why. It's very clear that, you know, Simon is a certain type of man. And, um, you know, he married, he met and married Fallon um, fairly you know quickly as well they got married um, I, I believe they have one or two biological kids together I'm not sure Fallon is a stepmom to Simon's uh, previous children from other relationships and you know what I get from Simon and I could be completely wrong this is all just speculation but Simon very much gives me like uh, you know, narcissist personality tendencies, you know, love bombs you, makes you feel incredible, buys you all these gifts, you know, woos you, takes you away to all these expensive vacations. And then, you know, once he's done flashing his wealth, you know, there's really not much there for him to, you know, show you, then that's when the problems start. And so, you know, if you're unfamiliar with this, what oftentimes happens in a lot of marriages is, you know, one spouse will cheat and the other spouse will cheat back. So that's what this whole situation is giving me. It's giving me very much Simon, uh, you know, was still, you know, up to his stuff. The same things that he was doing when he when he was probably dating Fallon, um, still entertaining other young ladies. Fallon finds out about this and she does her thing with her, uh, you know, allegedly with her best friend. And a lot of times this becomes, you know, how marriages last. <laughs> I mean, to be quite honest, you'd be surprised how many, you know, if married people were more transparent how many times that has happened where one spouse cheats another spouse, you know another spouse cheats back and you know things eventually make their way back on track unfortunately that is not what happened in this case but when you look at it that way it makes sense why simon would then go and try to date one of fallon's you know acquaintances or friends or co-workers um that completely makes sense to me the reason why i still think portia is raggedy for this is because <laughs> I was dating a guy and it was very clear that he is dating me out of some very shady you know motive to get back at his current wife I'm not even going to play that game I'm not even going to go deal with that but Portia is here for it Portia is here for it she's like I don't care and I think that is really what has changed my opinion about Portia because uh, <laughs> And this kind of goes into what I'm going to talk about as well in this video about, you know, kind of the the dynamics of being a sugar baby or not so much 
fully being a sugar baby, but just dating men that have way more money than you, um, expecting them to fund your lifestyle or to pay most of your bills or just that, that type of relationship dynamic. And that's, that's okay. If that's the type of relationship dynamic that you desire, there's nothing wrong with that. Do not let anyone shame you out of that belief because there are men out here who are more than willing to do that when they find a young lady that they feel is worth the investment. So don't think that that is like a bad thing because it's not. But yeah, so once upon a time, <laughs> um, when I was single, I was dating um, an older guy and much older than me. I met him when I was modeling. We dated on and off for a couple of months. Um, we became serious and I became his girlfriend. We were in an exclusive relationship. I got to see a lot of his personal life. Basically what it came down to was he was not interested in traditional marriage and he wanted me to sign a contract um, that pretty much laid out exactly the type of relationship that we would have exactly. The legalities of that relationship, um, what things was owed to me, what things he expected of me. And I turned it down. And the reason was because I was young. And secondly, I, at the time, I wanted a more traditional relationship or more traditional marriage versus the arrangement that he was offering me. And had that, you know, happened to me much older, I would be open to it because um, that, you know, could be a form of a polyamorous relationship. And I would be open to a polyamorous relationship, not, a, you know, a polygamous relationship, a polyamorous relationship. So that did not work out um, between us, unfortunately, but but you know, we did not have a nasty breakout, um, breakup rather. We were in love, you know, it just wasn't right for me. I think a lot of women are looking for that type of situation, trying to, right? Like trying to meet, a, a, you know, the man of their dreams, very, very wealthy, can take care of them, can, you know, enrich their lives, can add to their lives and, you know, live out the rest of their lives with this man in their understanding, in their type of relationship, in their type of, you know, arrangement. And I'm going to just basically share with you how I got that for myself. <laughs> you never want to come off as thirsty. So if you are coming off as an obvious gold digger or like an obvious, you know, I'm just looking for, you know, a man to pay my bills. If you're obviously coming off like that, <sighs> What's probably gonna happen is you're probably gonna end up getting a couple, you know, you know, expensive, but a couple throwaway gifts because if we're talking about um, an extremely wealthy man buying you a, a bag or, you know, a, a pair of shoes or, you know, something, a car, something along those lines, that's not, that's not a big sacrifice for them. They can easily do that and make, make that money back in their sleep, right? We're talking about those type of wealthy men. So he will give you some type of one-off gift because he knows you're thirsty. He knows that that's all you're talking to him for and he'll send you on your way. Those are those situations where you see women who are with wealthy men and they're kind of like revolving girlfriends. That's, that's pretty much where you will end up. Also, you want to make sure that well, I'll, I'll actually, I'll say this is before the first one. <laughs> you want to make sure that you are not picking men simply or primarily based off of the amount of money that they make, right? Because even if a man is not extremely wealthy, if he is doing well, if he has made good financial choices, he has um, an access and income, whether it's in savings, whether it's in stocks, um, CDs, investments, whatever he's doing to manage his money well, he has the money, right? So if you are dating this type of man, you want to make sure that you are dating the kind of man that is also a good man. That's, you know, honorable. He has a certain type of character. He's not going to be disrespectful towards you because when you're dating men that have a lot of money, that have a lot of access, that have a lot of power, they tend to be egotistical. They tend to, um, again, if they're not mature and level-headed, their, their, their attitudes tend to be really bad and they could flip on you in a way that will be very painful um, and degrading to you as a woman. Just, just go on to the Shade Room or any of these other blogs and you will see tons of celebrities uh, uh, you know, that, that are men who have ran through women who have had babies with them. They don't pay like that is real. That is a real thing when you mess with these type of men, because a lot of times they have terrible personalities. So you want to make sure that you're dating a guy or should I say you're um, pursuing a man or looking for a man rather that 
is a good man as well. You want to you wanna make sure that you're with a guy who's going to be respectful, who's going to honor you and have integrity when it comes to dealing with you or else you're going to find yourself in situations where you feel, you know, where, where your self-esteem will basically suffer. Um, lastly, I just wanted to say that you want to keep in mind when you're dating these type of men, while your relationship may seem as though it's mainly about what you're receiving and, you know, it's, it's the whole scam is to get him to give you a lot and, you know, expect very little. That's not going to work long term. But if you are, again, looking for a long term relationship and ultimately marriage, you want to make sure that you have traits and abilities that will make this man want to be around you make make him want to invest in you make him want to keep you um because if you are not giving him if same thing kind of was kind of the same thing that i was saying earlier if you're coming off as thirsty right and you don't have any real value you know to him at least like you're not you're 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 not really giving him an incentive to want to keep you around to want to pay for your lifestyle you run the risk of him not even thinking you're worth the whole process. And what I mean by not him thinking you're not worth it is not to actually quantify your worth. It's about specifically how to get these type of men to feel comfortable uh, paying for you. That's what I'm talking about. Because once he feels comfortable, he feels like he can trust you. He feels like, you know, you're worth his investment. Because again, we're talking about wealthy men where a lot of their decisions are analytical. They're, they're based off of running the numbers, you know, the, how they have accumulated their wealth directly, you know, connects to their personality and who they are as a person and how they look at things and how they make decisions. So if he's looking at you and he's not feeling like you are a worthy investment, he's not going to invest in you. Because again, it's not, it's rarely about the money. Okay. <laughs> it's rarely about how much something costs. It's about, does he feel that you are worth getting his wealth? You have to give him something that causes him to want to hold on to you. And again, you are a worthy investment. So whether that's, you know, he, he, he just loves spending time with you. He loves being in your presence. He loves the type of person that you are, the way you make him feel. Do you bring him peace? Are you easy to talk to? Does he feel like he can trust you? You know, can he bring you around all his wealth and all, you know, all the things that he has and show you, you know, everything that he is in his entirety and does he trust you to still treat him the same to still you know value him as a person all of that has to do with the possible longevity of your relationship so that's all i have to say on <laughs> both topics um but yeah thank you so much for watching take care bye